Disability insurance is an important financial planning tool in understanding long-term versus short-term disability insurance types, prices, and coverage must be evaluated before purchase. Frequently asked questions about disability insurance include, what's the difference between long-term versus short-term disability insurance? And, what does disability insurance cover, at what cost? Disability insurance supplies income when the insured can't work due to injury or illness. The disability insurance policy is written for the length of time after disability and includes the elimination period, or the length of time and benefits payment the policy will pay out. Short-term disability insurance typically covers the disability term of 12 months or less. A long-term disability insurance policy can cover the insured's needs for a lifetime. Other factors, such as the insured's savings and capital base, may help the client to decide what type of private disability insurance policy he or she needs. Several states offer short-term disability insurance to resident workers. New York, Hawaii, Rhode Island, California, and New Jersey residents don't need to purchase private short-term disability policies through an insurance agent or employer. Physical labor on the job can increase the risk of job-related disability. If you're an office worker and use little physical effort to perform your work duties, it's still possible to come to work with a broken arm. However, if you're a roofer or bricklayer, you must have the use of both arms to perform your occupation. Disability insurance costs more for the physical laborer. According to the Wall Street Journal, anyone performing physical labor should purchase a minimum six-month short-term disability policy, unless he or she is a resident of the states that provide short-term disability insurance. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics BLS, the physical laborer is twice as likely to become disabled for six months or less than the white-collar worker. Private disability insurance premiums are expensive but, for some workers, it may make good sense. For instance, the self-employed plumbing contractor must perform physical labor and, if injured, he or she can't earn an income. According to the National Insurance Association, the average cost of private short-term disability insurance is 1 to 3 percent of annual earnings. Older workers typically pay higher premiums, in comparison, if the worker earns minimum wage, paying disability premiums may be difficult even if it makes good financial sense for him or her to do so. According to BLS, about 40% of employees had access to short-term disability insurance in 2014. The amount of savings the worker has can help him or her to decide whether private or employer offered disability insurance as a must.